Devaki's earlier children brought back. One day, Sri Krishna and Balarama went to salute their parents as usual in the morning. Vasudeva received them. Salutations and benedictions were over. Then Vasudeva addressed Sri Krishna and said, I have heard from great rishis that you are the incarnation of the Supreme. I have seen many of your wonderful exploits. You are the controller of Prakriti and Purusha. Everything that exists is you. You are beyond birth, existence and dissolution. You are the inner controller in everybody. You are the sun, moon, stars, fire and, and all light and brightness. Your yoga maya had deceived me so long. I had considered myself as this body and saw you as my child. Please relieve me from the influence of your yoga maya and show me the way for liberation and true knowledge. Sri Krishna replied that what he said was true. Sri Krishna, Balarama, Vasudeva, all the Yadavas and the inhabitants of Dwaraka were all Brahman and there was nothing other than Brahman. Devaki thought it to be a solemn opportunity and submitted. O Krishna, I know that you are Lord Narayana himself. I have heard that you have brought back with life the dead son of your Gurudev. Pray, let me see my sons who have been killed by the cruel Kamsa. This desire has been haunting me. Please relieve me of the same. Sri Krishna and Balarama heard this and immediately both of them went to Sutala, the abode of Bali, requested him to hand over the sons of their mother. Bali readily did so. Sri Krishna and Balarama returned with the six brothers of theirs and presented them to Devaki. Immensely pleased, Devaki fondled them very much and even as they were feeling so glad, the six sons took leave of them all and returned to the supreme abode.